Another Sangoma drowns in Dam of the Snake. When some Sangoma hear the ancestral call, they have to enter the water and stay there, sometimes for as long as a year. They believe that they will come out just fine if the water snake likes them, but the custom is killing eager trainees. This is the fourth Sangoma to drown in this little dam this year alone. According to belief, if they are not one of the chosen few, the water snake will get them. So here we have a newspaper article of a Sangoma, which is uh, somebody who is a practitioner of uh, a Zulu traditional witchcraft. Um, it's basically trainees who want to qualify as Sangomas, and one of the final trials is for them to live underwater with the water snake, who will then either kill them, or if they are the chose, one of the chosen few, the water snake will let them live. So here now we have one example of one dam in South Africa where this is the fourth Sangoma to drown in one year. So what they're saying here is that according to the belief if they are not one of the chosen few, the water snake will get them. Now, obviously, as they pull the bodies out of the dam and they were to do an autopsy, they would find that the person's lungs were filled with water thus indicating to them, scientifically, that it was not a snake or any kind of creature that caused them to die. They, in fact, drowned, which is basic. If you use basic equations of what would happen if you were to stay underwater for too long, you would eventually take in water and you would drown. So, you know, for religious people to attempt to even say that his death was caused by anything other than drowning you know one can use basic science if one was to actually say look how do i actually prove that my belief such as in the case of this how do i prove that my my belief is even valid i mean if i take a basic scientific point and i go and i sit under the water for too long and I start taking in water then I'm going to drown not because some creature filled my lungs with water not because some creature underwater bit me um, and then the question comes up should religious authorities be held accountable if somebody like this dies because the obviously the association of uh, Sangoma's traditional healers of South Africa, some such organization who would have to be registered would surely have to be held accountable if you're part of your ritual and part of, uh, you know, for trainees to get through and, and then be able to be call themselves Sangoma. Surely if part of your final examination or final proof that you are worthy is for you to go and submit to uh, suicide basically because as I've just mentioned scientifically that can be equated to suicide which is being endorsed by a religious body and South African law for example um, is not here standing up for for the basic common sense where people have lost their common sense religions in south africa are now in this case being allowed to take precedence over basic common sense basic equations of if you go underwater for too long and you drown it is because you drowned not because some snake bit you some unseen snake which nobody's been able to cross-reference nobody has seen the snake they speak about the snake as if they have seen the snake or have any, you know, caught it at some point or any kind of evidence that would point towards it being valid. It's simply knowledge and information. And this is very dangerous because this is where religions are getting away with killing people. Um, and the only evidence that you have in your defense is, oh, but I heard about it or it's written in one of my books. And in the rest of the, in the Western countries, if somebody was to kill somebody else in the name of a religion, 
by suggesting to this person to go and sit underwater until you basically drown or you come out and you miraculously have all this knowledge according to this article they either drown meaning the snake got them or they come out with miraculous knowledge about how to be a sangoma now i mean for you to all of a sudden come out of there and have this knowledge um, at the cost of dying surely that in itself um, there should be some law against such religious practices where you either die or you come out and you start talking some some major information and in south africa it's becoming a problem because here you can basically if you look at the premise on which this entire scenario is based upon they're basically saying they can create any religion and as long nobody can say anything about it because then it is seen as you're disrespecting our culture you're disrespecting our religion and this is is what religion is based on it's based on creating an illusion creating knowledge and information and saying to people look either you die such as the case of this or you all of a sudden sp start speaking the same knowledge and information i speak and the law here is not protecting the people who are being misled into believing that they have to go and sit underwater would they send the president to go and sit under the water would they send any of the anc political leaders and ministers uh, who are supposed to be you know chosen by god to lead the country would they send any of those people under the water no because then all of a sudden everybody would be saying no 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 we can't risk that we can't have the water snake getting them and then all of a sudden the law would say oh no 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 um <laughs> that would just be silly so people have this allowance for religion based on illusion and based on creating uh delusions within the mind which is followed through even such as in this case the point of death and nobody has to take responsibility for it and through this and through the government not getting involved in laws protecting these people who are being led along the path of, of delusion to the point of possibly dying um nobody is standing up for these people and you know of course according to my perspective all religion should be banned all religion should be removed it is religion is completely irrelevant it is not necessary i remain here in the physical whether i follow some religion or not and especially when it comes down to where chances are taken with people's lives uh, responsibility is not taken by the authorities and the same level of respect that that cultures say they should get should surely be shown for all life on the planet that includes not allowing religious leaders to make up religions which cost people their lives instead if the knowledge is not there already for you to be able to effectively support yourself and another then why the hell must you go and sit underwater and possibly be bitten by a snake and according to the statistics statistics sorry you can see here that the chances of death are greater than you coming out becoming a sangoma so i mean why does knowledge and information have to be so elusive what is the trap why are we being lied to by the religious why is everything all knowledge not here shared equally for everybody isn't the whole point of the religion uh, such as sangomas and witchcraft or any religion isn't that to preserve life and to make life better for everybody but now the sangoma has to go through this trial of potentially very possibly dying to be able to access his knowledge to me that is deception and that creates fear in people and it is within basic common sense that one stops this and stops participating with an illusion so to answer the question of why these sangomas these trainees would allow themselves to be convinced to go and live under water uh to the point of attaining all this knowledge or dying because of money because they have to make a career for themselves and they have to survive i mean if you were to have an equality based world system where people don't have to be forced into work situations where they have to make do they have to follow the current market of what uh, people need within their worlds they wouldn't be following careers that 
go, they go they have to go through extensive training possibly even death just to be able to say I have a stable career for the rest of my life I know I'm going to be able to make money I'm going to be able to provide for my family and there you have again a product of capitalism where jobs are created according to what people think they need and at the expense of that you have uh, people more uh, you could say specific uh, more desired qualifications being created, such as a witch doctor who can heal people. And obviously for that, through that, the person believes that when they go through this training that they're going to have a certain respect and they're going to have a certain income and they, they're already existing within a world system where such things are seen as you are powerful, you, are, um, being, you have been given a gift from a god. And all this comes simply from the comparison points between uh, having powers, having no power, having money, having no money, uh, being powerful in your society, having no power, seeing yourself as being worthy or not worthy, being blessed by God. All of these are value systems which come from the capitalist system where people are given values. You're given a number, you're given a worth. Change that to a point of equality where we all work together to get the things done every day that need to get done so we all can live. And there you're looking at directing oneself every day to get the things done which will support all who live on this planet. Where every community participate equally in the jobs that need to get done so that everybody has food, water, uh, houses you know, all the basic infrastructures in place. None of this competition based on um, some people are more than others and some people are more special and more gifted. That comes from, if you look at it, that comes from capitalism. And if you start looking at the, the death and the pain and suffering caused because of that, you, know, you will see it is all over the newspapers. It is unnecessary, such as in the case of these people drowning, to just get uh, a spot where they can say they have made it, they are gifted, and that is completely unnecessary. Thank you very much.